Hey everybody and welcome to or welcome back to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today we're going to be talking about something really quick that I feel that is important for me to tell my brothers. And that quick but very necessary message is don't look back. No. Don't look back. Now, let me start by saying this. I understand, brothers, that you live in this society that always is expecting you to be hard and to be cutthroat and don't have a heart, right? Be heartless, don't care. Uh, act unbothered, unfazed. And I'm here to let you know that I understand that that's entirely unrealistic. And I understand as your little big sister that you guys too have feelings, you know? You guys too get hurt and you get confused when it comes to relationships, when it comes to women and so on and so forth. And some of you, a lot of you, have ran into situations to where you knew that it was best for you to leave because maybe you were not getting the proper amount of love or you were not getting uh, respected the way that you needed to. Or the, the woman that you were with was just really stagnating you and causing you not to really evolve and develop and grow at the pace that you needed to do it at, you know, at the, at the proper speed and you left. And after you left, you got a lot of those doubtful thoughts, like maybe I messed up or did I, did I leave too soon? Or did I make a mistake? Should I go back? And I want you guys to know that today's dope discussion is your confirmation no, you did not mess up. You did the right thing. What you did was healthy for you. And it was just meant for you to walk away from the situation. Now, a lot of you guys may have walked away from a situation to where maybe it wasn't that bad. Maybe, you know, you were just going through a lot of stress at the time and maybe you um, overreacted. This dope discussion is not for you. This dope discussion is for those men that have constantly put in effort after effort, made investment after investment, constantly tried. And each time you were still taken for granted, each time you were still disrespected, each time you had to constantly sacrifice a piece of yourself for a woman that never reciprocated or appreciated or poured back into you. But because you felt so invested into that woman or into that relationship, maybe you have children, whatever the case is, you know, you felt like, or you feel like, it was only right, or it is only right to stick it out and do your best to make it work. And sometimes, fellas, it's not. And it doesn't make you a heartless man. It doesn't make you a cutthroat guy. It makes you a wise man. And we do live in a society to where they will try to shame you guys for doing what's best for you. Right. So when it comes to women, a lot of the times, like we're encouraged and, and taught to never settle, never compromise, never sacrifice the moment that you're unhappy, leave. Don't tolerate anything if it's not conducive to X, Y and Z, no matter how small of an issue it is, just leave. But men, on the other hand, you guys are taught to just, again, just stick it out, make it work. 
And if you don't, then you're weak. You're pathetic. You're not a real man. And that's absolute nonsense, y'all. Can we be real? It's nonsense. It's unfair to sit there and act as if men don't have lives to live. To act like you guys don't feel that you don't go through things, that you don't need certain treatment. You do, and you deserve the best, especially when you're putting your all into something. Especially when you are doing something that is making somebody else's life better and easier, more enjoyable. You deserve reciprocation, period. And I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that walking away from a toxic dead-end situation, no matter how much time, love, energy, effort, money, whatever you put into it, it was the best thing for you. And she may not realize it, but it was the best thing for her as well. Because by walking away, you are giving her room to grow, to reflect, to see her faults and flaws so that she can work on herself, so she can develop. So don't feel guilty about this, fellas. Don't feel guilty about walking away. You did what was necessary and beneficial for everybody involved. Sometimes by staying, hell, a lot of the times, by just staying and coping and dealing with the situation and tolerating, we do everybody a disservice because that woman, she never gets the opportunity to blossom because she always have you there. She always has you there to, you know, pick up her slack. Or help her to just deal with things. But she never gets to work through her issues on her own by you just st sticking around and tolerating. So, fellas, I'll have to come on here and let you guys know that it's, it's perfectly okay that you walked away. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Yeah, I get it. You loved her. Maybe y'all had children, whatever. I get it. We're, only, we're all human. And I understand they paint a lot of you men out to be like just heartless, barbarian type of individuals that just don't care. But you do, you know? And I know a lot of you guys sit down sometimes and reflect and really beat yourself up feeling like, damn, maybe I didn't give it my all though. Or maybe I did give up too soon. Or, you know, maybe I was tripping and you weren't. You know the amount of stress you were going through. You know the amount of depression that you were battling. You know the amount of sacrifice and struggle that you put into that relationship and it got you nowhere. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up. You're doing the right thing. Don't look back. You left for a reason. And with that being said, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. Let me know. Am, am, I, am I talking to you today? I may be talking to you. You know, you may have been in your head a lot like, damn, you know, yeah, it was terrible. But maybe if I would have did this better, she would have did this. No, no. Come on, you guys. If you've been investing so much time and energy into something and it's not working, so much effort, so much love, and it's not working. It's just, no. It was never going to work no matter how much you did because a lot of y'all have already sacrificed too damn much, your health included. So don't you dare look back, all right? But y'all let me know how you feel about this. I love y'all. I respect y'all. I have to come on here and tell y'all that quick little message because I have been getting some messages from my brothers. You know, just been a little bit regretful about some things. Wondering if they did anything wrong, what could have they did better? And I just have to come on here and let you guys know that, you know, for a lot of y'all, it was wise for you to leave and don't look back. You did the right thing. It's nothing but beauty ahead of you. You know, you open yourself up to be able to um, invite better partners, better women, better lovers, 
better wives into your life. And so you did absolutely nothing wrong. Do not look back. And with that being said, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Can you relate? What are you going through? What are you doing to stay focused and not look back? Share it with us all because you never know who may be going through the same thing. And maybe they're having some doubts and regrets and they're feeling bad about doing certain things when they know damn well it was the best thing for everybody involved. So share with us, you guys, what you guys are doing to stay strong, to stay focused and not go back to dead end toxic situations. All right. Danique Marie, dope discussions. Much love. We out. Peace, y'all.